So, some of you might be saying, Rincey, how is whatever I pop is the answer to help you get the discipline that you well need? How is that the answer? How is that an alternate to the military? Well, I told you this. They are a military of casting directors and directors and producers. They will not put up with you running your mouth after they said stop. When they tell you stop, you got to stop. So it's better that I learned it now than later on in life. But I believe I finally learned my purpose and that with that, I can actually love who I am, you know. I keep hitting walls and getting myself jacked because all in doing everything that's not approved, getting myself jacked and running my mouth and not stopping when being told to stop. Because not only did I not like myself, I didn't even respect myself, so how could I respect my mom and my daddy and respect others if I can't respect myself? I think that's how it is with Brittany. Brittany on Auntie Nita. She don't know how to respect herself. You don't know what I'm talking about. But when she got put out of Roseanne's apartment, I bet she moved in with a man, you know. I'm pretty sure she moved in with that dude without legs, remember? For those who watch Auntie Nita without legs. But I bet you that's happened. But this is the answer. Um, do Amazon. Go to Amazon. Get that job. Do the civil service exam. And try to get a government job. And I forgot move out on the first Amazon paycheck, you know, put it down in that apartment in Edison, you know, so I'll have to go to the army. I could just get the discipline right from my pop. And God was really talking to me, you know. He was... He really called my name. And I know that I passed the answer because the night before, I kept on talking when I was told to stop. But, um, anyway. I kept on pretending like I didn't have home training because I didn't like myself. And this is not an excuse like I used to do. I'm actually pleading the fifth. I love my family. And Bree is right. She said, you want to come together with the family. You want to be there for all the events now that grandma's gone. I do. I do want to be there. But if I go, if I keep on going to these events, because I've went to as many as possible while Grandma and Papa were still alive, as many as I was able to go to the family events. But right now, I can't afford it. 
I need to get started on this personal journey. I keep tagging you because I'm trying to say I did not mean it when I said this in October 2020 for it to upset you. I didn't mean it in that way. I really didn't mean it. I've been trying to say it right for the past nine months when grandma was in the hospital. I've been trying to say it correctly that I got to get on this personal journey. But it took me five years to get started. And I still got to get started. I start on um, a few days. I start in a few days. You know? But I pop is the answer to get the discipline. I, I've never been so sure. And this proves my case. You're not growing unless you're doing what you love to freaking do. You're not growing until you do what you unless you're doing what you love to do. And thank God for community access unlimited, okay? Thank God for Miss Mo. I went to the cast party for Elf Jr. And I'm not sure what Jeanette's gonna do and Miss Mo's gonna do. But I'm pretty sure I got a part. Because I requested one. Because, you know, I thought I was busy getting the job up. If I can flex in online school whenever I do that and get a certificate and actually complete my journey of schooling. Um, Amazon, civil service exam. And maybe a government job and Elf Jr. Ain't that something? Maybe I do have the discipline. And Rainfire Church virtually. Ain't that something? That will prove while my mom and my daddy are not looking, I got discipline. That's amazing. So we continued on that. But I realized that I kept doing what was not approved. I kept on crossing lines and crossing boundaries, you know. Like a four year old who thinks it's a game, you know. But now I see talking too much, running your mouth, I see that this is not a game. I see that I was being disrespectful. And that disrespect cost, it cost me a ton of friendships, cost me opportunities, cost even a relationship with my cousin Christina. All because, you know, I, maybe I was trying to say this here, you know, I was trying to, I maybe I was trying to say what I'm trying to tell you guys now. But I didn't mean it in the way that I said it. And I know Christina had her personal journey. Why do you think she moved to Louisiana? And why do you think my Uncle Robert doesn't talk with his sister, my mama, as often as you know anyone else? He's busy on his personal journey. Now I see what happened to my siblings after they went to college. They work on their personal journey, yet I have not gotten started, and it's been over five years since I graduated high school. I need to get started now. So, so Elf Junior, you know, I put that in. In New Vision Theater, oh, I gotta check that out. Mm -mm -mm. Got a lot of black people in it. I saw it with my pops. Woo wee! New Vision. I'm seeing Vision now. Oh, and speaking of Vision, not Raven. I've been meditating to Richard Smallwood and Vision, you know? <laughs> you gotta check that song out. If you have not. It's called the Anthem of Praise. That song came out like 20 years ago. And still, still slaps today. But I understand, you know, all jokes aside of, you know, 
copying from television, not understanding the seriousness, um, and not having compassion. That this is not this um proud family. This is not Moesha. This is not one of those shows where you do what's not approved and disrespectful and nothing happens. You know? This is real life and there are consequences for when you act like this. And I realize I was too old to not realize that. And too old not to close my mouth. But I really am this close. And I'm moving out on faith, you know, as God said to me. But I'm in agreement right now. Have a good night, guys. I'm going to go take a shower.